You graduated from dentistry in 1970. 71. 75. 78 class. 1981 grad. Class of 85. 95. 99. 2009. 2012. The class of 2014. I can't believe it's 50 years. I've <laughs> been here a long time, yeah. I think we had um, 50-some applications for our first very small class, and we were able to take only eight students, and it was a splendid class. I like the other ones that came along after ones, but it's, I guess, like having your first child. <laughs> it's a little different. For the first couple of years, there were more professors than there were students. They were just tripping over themselves to help us. We had a unified goal, and that was to graduate the best dentist we could. And it didn't take long to develop what I considered to be a very strong faculty. Most important professor. Can I throw out more than one name? Dr. Sills. Bill Walker. Dr. Ralph Brook. Dr. Suzuki. Dr. Jerry Wright. Dr. Saja Kaufman. Henry Lapointe. Dr. Gord Walker. Dr. Lacombe. The educators here were uh, wonderfully capable individuals. So even though you were sweating and stressing and freaking out, they would step in, fix the problem in a matter of minutes, not even phase them. It's always really cared about the students. It's been a culture from the very beginning. That's a big deal to keep that consistency over 50 years. Most influential professors. Dr. Gilliel. Dr. Tom Daly. Dr. Jim Ryan. Dr. Peter Dello. Dr. Jordan. Dr. West Dunn. And the list goes on and on. They were tough, but they needed to be because we were young people growing up and they taught us how to be professional. Actually, I can remember back to our first day of dental school when we met, it was actually Dr. Wesley Dunn, and he showed up in a powder blue three-piece suit, um, just dressed meticulously, and he spoke to us about professionalism. And he essentially said, you're going to form lifelong friendships. We counted on each other, we depended on each other. We had a wonderfully tight class. And just the fun we would have together, and the fact that you understand what each other's going through. Well, you're all in it together, and you sort of support each other. And the fact that you can lean on someone that's sharing the same experience, I think is important. We all knew each other very well, and I have friendships that have lasted right until today. Friends from this program have been everything. We've met after graduation to discuss anything from lawyers and accountants to having kids and getting married. Reverse order, but... Uh, <laughs> it was a great time. It was like high school, except at a, a much higher level. I think it's that collective of good teachers, interesting people, and dedicated people that's resulted in a long-term success. We have a fantastic alumni. We have uh, tremendous, tremendous achievers who have gone out and become chairs of departments and heads of uh, various institutions. It's very gratifying to celebrate their achievements as well. My proudest achievement? Proudest achievement? Getting that letter of acceptance to dental school. Teaching my classmates how to make snow sculptures. Being accepted by my classmates. Getting through the four years. Well, just getting through that program. Quite simply, graduating. The line of quality graduates is really unchanged year after year, and uh, that makes us all feel good as alumni ourselves. I think it's important that Western dentistry students give back to the community that gave so much to them. And the DOCS program is a, a means by which they can then express that ability of giving back to the community. Whether it was cleanings or fillings, we were there to help. It made a big difference, I think, in most of our lives. It's something we were really proud of doing and continue to do. We're all working together to provide the best that we can for our patients and to help each other out. Favorite memory? Favorite memory? Uh, well, the faculty might not appreciate it, but it was the quiet room, which was the nice bar on campus at the time. The spoke, the elbow room, <laughs> those type of places, the great hall where we had the pubs, we had a lot of fun there. The library, maybe, as a special place? I don't know, that sounds very, um, boring, doesn't it? Uh, the simulation clinic. You are sitting and working with mannequin heads night after night after night. Taylor Library. That's easy. My friends and I, we used to joke that we spent a lot of time there, that they might charge us rent for being there for so long. When I started here, I would never have uh, imagined that uh, I'd still be around. Um, and not, not only still be around physically, but actually taking a role in, in school. If I had the choice again, 
I would have done it exactly the same way. I've spent uh, pretty much uh, the best years of my life, uh, my youth and my career here. So it's a very proud uh, moment for me that uh, we have come where we are. That we were able to <laughs> survive 50 years and make a useful contribution is very, very satisfying. The faculty of dentistry was a huge part of my life and will always be a big part of my life. Very proud to be a graduate from Western. The dental school is one of the best. I'm proud that I made my family proud. I'm proud that I made my school proud. My experience at the School of Dentistry was unbelievable. Empowering. Transformational. Outstanding. Fulfilling. Phenomenal. You know, I think we inspired each other. You get pushed to your limits. Paid our dues, we worked hard. You're able to do things that you probably didn't think were possible before. Satisfying. Rewarding. Phenomenal. Proud. Couldn't have gone to a better school. Invaluable. Unreal. Life-changing. Very, very grateful.